Hey, it's me and I am talking about what I've bought lately, also known as a haul. Um, I don't really like that word, so I'm probably not going to say it again throughout this video. I've bought some really cute things for the spring and just kind of getting ready for, I guess, warmer weather. It's been so fickle here in Atlanta. It's just been like hot, cold, hot, cold. But picked up some like skincare and beauty items, picked up a few cute accessories and some really cute separates and I wanted to share them with you. Last thing I purchased, which was today, um, was this blazer from Target and it is by Mosimo and it is just, or Mosimo, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but it is just so cute. It's like floral, it kind of has what I like to call like the watercolor kind of effect and it's just so cute and I just paired it with some um, dress pants and some pumps and just kind of enjoyed my day to day. If you follow Mattyology and you you know you read my blog you know that I'm totally into florals and prints and I love that sort of thing so I was really really excited about finding this and I think it was like um I think it was like $34.99, so it wasn't bad at all. It was like super reasonable. Massimo usually runs slightly big, because I'm typically a small when it comes to blazers or whatnot, and this is the extra small, and I still have a lot of give in it, so. Um, but yeah, this is from Target. It's awesome, and definitely, you'll probably see it in my favorites video. What I also got were some beanies. I'm like obsessed with beanies this season. It's just totally... I don't know. I, it seems like it's it seems like it's not right for the season, but it actually is, depending on how thin your material is for the beanie. But um, I picked up some beanies, and I haven't really found like a designer or even like fast fashion brand that does beanies that I really like. Although I do have like a nice beanie from Club Monaco that's really cute. Um, but I got these three. So I got one in black one in yellow and one in gray. I got this from my beauty supply store, just like super regular. I know that sounds super random, but I just got them. They were $1.99 each and I was just like, mm, yeah, totally taking advantage of it. And you know, it's in pretty decent, they're in de decent shape. I wear them usually kind of cuffed, you know, when it's on my head, I usually kind of cuff it, but you can wear it uncuffed and it's fairly thick. So this actually, it's, well, I shouldn't say fairly thick because I would wear it like now, but it is actually durable enough for you to wear in the winter as well. So I really like it. I really like the black and the gray, obviously, for like my neutral options. But then I really thought that the yellow really kind of popped, you know. Um, it's just kind of like an ideal shade for spring. So I really liked it. And it kind of reminds me of the Steelers, which I'm totally into. I really, really like this um, dress that I got from Zara. It is a maxi dress, so it's kind of long. I'm not really sure if you can see it, but it's just like really long. It kind of has like this folded midsection and it's just like long and it's kind of like this champagne ivory kind of color. And it's just super, it's just kind of like a really great basic for the spring and I can transition it into the summer and I'm going to be traveling for Memorial Day um, and so this is just kind of really a great vacation dress like you can put it with some really great flat sandals or one of your favorite flats or you could do this with heels. I did this with heels. I already wore this already so I know that's not like technically like a haul piece because I already wore it but whatever. If I'm not mistaken this was like $59.90 at uh, Zara. Speaking of Zara, now what I actually do still have in the bag is these shoes that I feel like a lot of people have, but they're just so cute that it's just like, why wouldn't you get these? It just makes sense. They're just so fantastic. I absolutely love them. They are black suede. They're this really cute kind of cage style sandal. I feel like it's interesting, even though it's black, it's still very interesting. I don't have a lot of black shoes in my in my closet, but I feel like the, the few that I do or anytime I do look to purchase a black shoe, it needs to be interesting and I think this really does the trick. These were 
$89.90. Um, so I just think that that is great. And um, I'm really, I'm just like really excited about them. So one of my favorite boutiques here in Atlanta is Fabric Findings. It's not too far away from my house and the staff there is just amazing. While I was um, there the other day, I picked up a couple of pieces. So the first piece I picked up was this awesome kind of sequin jacket and it's like neutral and it kind of looks like this. Here's what I will say, even though it's like so amazing and just like so sparkly, um, I actually wore it in one of my latest outfit posts, so you can check that out on Mattyology, but it is kind of annoying to wear because it kind of just sticks, like everything sticks to one another and then like the sequins come off, but I scored it on sale and I feel like it's just such a great piece that I even, I mean, if it lasts me two seasons, then honestly, I'm happy because it was, I found it for such a great price. Honestly, I think I got this on sale for like 20 bucks, like I'm not even lying. And honestly, it serves as a neutral, you know, because it's kind of like this really, really, really light mauve. I mean, you can't really lose with this. So I love this. This is from Fabric Vining. So if you're here in the Atlanta area, definitely go check them out. They have some amazing pieces for the spring. Another piece that I got from Fabric um, that I actually haven't worn yet, I actually did a good job with this one, is this awesome sequin dress. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with sequins right now. Um, they just keep gravitating towards me, so I'm going to keep buying them. But this dress is like so awesome on. I also got this for 20 bucks. Yeah. And it was originally 72, which is like such a great deal. So this dress, um, when I saw it, I just really, really liked it. It's just like a really nice classic kind of knee length LBD. I'm just so, I'm always just into little black dresses. I just, they just can't do you wrong. I might do a lookbook on them because I have a few um, options, but this is so amazing. Like, I feel like just holding it up now, it looks okay, but this thing on is just like, honestly, it makes me look like a million bucks, and that's not from a place of ego. That's just the truth. So I'm really excited. I don't have anywhere to go really in the next few weeks, but I'm definitely going to find somewhere to go to wear this because it is like perfect. So the next piece I got was from Vans. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram and on the blog, I'm kind of obsessed with like graphic t-shirts, which is really funny because I'm not typically casual, you know what I mean? Like this is kind of like my casual, a floral blazer with a bright blue sweater and a statement necklace. Like that's my casual. But I've really been into graphic tees. I'm selling some on Mattyology now, so you can go to mattyology.com shop and buy some and I will leave the link below. But when I saw this shirt at Vans, I had to get it. And I don't typically shop at Vans, but when I saw this, I just had to like, I just was like, this is coming home with me. I am obsessed with Hello Kitty, and of course she's wearing pink, so it was really all the reason to get it. And it's a nice like V-neck um, t-shirt, and it, I love Heather Gray, it's just like awesome. And so I feel like this with like, some really cute jeans and you know maybe like some chucks or you know just something casual maybe a flat or even like a casual um you know low heeled boot with a beanie is awesome like that's something that i would totally wear this spring so i'm i really like this shirt this was actually on sale it was originally 22 and if i'm not mistaken i got it for 14. so yeah, definitely check that out. They just have some amazing sales going on. I just really kind of felt like it was time for me to find like a new lotion. I typically am very, very oils focused when it comes to moisturizing my skin. Um, but sometimes just the regular oil doesn't suffice. Usually when I take a shower, when I get out, I will moisturize with grapeseed oil. It's just really, really great for my skin. I have sensitive skin, so I really didn't I really don't like to put something that has fragrance directly on my skin first. For me, I have to do an oil as a base. I came across Organics Healing Cherry Blossom Rice Milk um, Lotion, and I love this stuff. First of all, it smells really good. They say it gives you like this velvety body um, 
feel and it absolutely does. Aloe is just amazing and I got the Vaseline Total Moisture Aloe Fresh Hydrating Body Gel and it's like awesome. Like it's, I mean you can't really, it just has such a fresh smell and it feels like a million bucks man so get into this if you're looking for an aloe gel I would say that Vaseline has a really really great option and it's been doing wonders for my skin I've only had this for like three days and I've already seen the difference in my skin so my face has been doing like this weird like I'm really dry and I don't know how to react because the weather doesn't know what it's doing yet for spring thing and so I just kind of really needed like a new moisturizer and um, simple has a really great moisturizer. It's like, it's very light. It's called their hydrating, hydrating Light Moisturizer. I can't talk, I'm sorry. It's like really late and I'm just trying to not sound like an idiot. I love it because it's perfect for um, sensitive skin, which I do have. Um, there is no fragrance to it. So that's what I really like about that as well. And um, it's light, but it moisturizes and it gets the job done. Now this is an oldie but a goodie and I'm not really sure, I don't think I've ever mentioned it in a favorites video before, but I'm obsessed and completely enamored by St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot, Apricot Scrub. They just do such a good job and it just, literally I can use this thing for two days and I will see an automatic difference in my skin. It just treats me so good. I love it and so I don't exfoliate every day because that's a little bit intense for my skin. I do exfoliate every other day and I tend to exfoliate at night so my skin can go through what it needs to go through after it's been scrubbed. I feel like exfoliating in the morning before you like go about your day is kind of intense and I tend to get red when I exfoliate because I'm just so like pale. So I would say last out of like my skincare buys and purchases is I was really looking for an exfoliator for my body I just really needed something and I've been I would say for the last year and a half I've been making my own exfoliator and that does work out for me but I just needed something a little bit new I think what happened is my skin got used to it and so you have to switch up your body and skincare routine just so you know your body gets used to things sometimes and it stops reacting to it and so that's really where I had come with the whole brown sugar scrub so I found this really amazing um, exfoliator and body scrub from um, the grocery store Publix if you're here in Atlanta I, they had this and it was only $5.99 and it, it is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub try to say that five times fast um, and it's by tree hut and this is the coconut lime flavor because they have two and it is just literally the best smelly thing ever like I've used it already I've had it for like the last three days I've used it and I mean the texture the smell the feel I mean your skin is going to be just feeling like just no words it just makes your skin feel good so whether you're a guy or a girl I think this is really really good I think that the smell is just literally all the reason to spend the money on it. Um, and it was funny because I was like well I should do a haul video but I don't think I bought enough but I think that yeah I did and so that's it be sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new to the channel thanks to everybody who is a new subscriber and thanks to those who have been watching for a while be sure to check out the blog and um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.